What the hell did he do this time? And why the hell he had a bullet in his socks during a game? Pepe has done all kinds of wild stuff over the years, and every time we thought he wouldn't get any crazier, he put on berserk mode and surprised us all. He's without a doubt one of the most notorious defenders the game has ever seen, and his career might be over as he faces a ban for up to two years. Sit tight, folks, this story is insane. Even for Pepe, the Earth revolves around the sun. Two plus two makes four. Pepe will probably be sent off if a game gets too tense for his liking. The high ruler of football housery was at his best yet again last week, this time during the biggest fixture in Portuguese football. With a tight race for the league title, Porto and Sporting Lisbon faced each other in a hard-fought battle. The game ended up in a four-goal draw, after Porto made a comeback from 2-0 down, but none of this made it into the headlines, because what happened at the 44th minute and right after the final whistle was bigger than anything related to the game. And all of that, to absolutely no one's surprise, revolved around one man and one man only. The usual suspect, Pepe. Minutes before the halftime whistle, the referee was surrounded by sporting players as they were trying to make a point about Pepe. The ref, much like everyone else, thought this to be yet another dark art performed by the veteran, like kicking an opponent while no one was looking, spitting on someone, headbutting another, Stamping, you know, the usual stuff. But this was something even more outrageous. According to Portuguese newspaper Abola, Pepe was trying to hide a bullet in his socks. Now, we know what you might be thinking, but no. Thankfully, Pepe isn't that crazy to come armed to a game, but he was trying to hide it as it was thrown onto the pitch by Porto fans. Now, we're not experts in Portuguese culture, but we kind of feel that a bullet might not be the symbol of hospitality. So, the fans in the Dragao Stadium might want to reconsider how to welcome their opponents in the future. As the referee finally understood what was going on, he took it away from Pepe and gave it to match officials on the sideline. Now, anywhere else in the world, this was enough to make a match utterly wacky. But we all know where Pepe plays, there's always room for more crazy. So, as the final whistle blew, right after a cruel tackle by you know who, an all out brawl erupted. Players from both sides went at each other. Then came the subs, then the trainers, then the other club personnel, and it quickly got out of hand. Pepe's target wasn't a player, though. He went for another prey. To be fair to him, he chose someone of his age. Retired footballer and sporting's football director, Hugo Viana. The clash of two 39-year-olds was rather quick, as Pepe kicked Viana right before the referee's eyes, who ended up sending off the veteran. This wasn't the only red card of the night, though. In total, five red cards were shown during and after the game. It's common practice to come up with a name for such events, like Bullet Storm at the Dragao, or Pepe and the Art of War. Jokes aside though, this would end up being the very last game of Pepe's illustrious career, as the veteran is sent to the disciplinary board after his act, where he might get a ban from professional football for up to two years. And if that would be the case, we're not quite sure if at 41 years old he'd still play. But Pepe being Pepe, he's capable of anything he set his mind to, for better or worse. He could come back and haunt everyone for one last time after the ban. Who knows? With that, we're wrapping this up. Don't forget to tell us what you think about Pepe and the bullet in his socks. We'd be surprised, but if you want to see more Pepe madness, check out this video for a journey into the career of the dirtiest player of all time. Thanks for watching!